Greetings, this is Greg. Some folks out there are experiencing EVAP codes after they install intakes on Fiat 124s and sometimes on completely stock cars and I'm going to show you a common reason that uh, you might have that. First of all, the car has two main connectors associated with EVAP system. There's the green connector which goes to the intercooler piping and there's the blue connector which goes to the uh, charcoal canister ultimately via a bunch of other things. Those connectors connect to special fittings. In the case of our aftermarket intake, it connects to these fittings. In the case of the stock intake, it would connect directly to the stock airbox. Now, I don't have this fitting connected at the other end, so I can pull it out of here for demonstration purposes and show you how this is supposed to go in there. Now, a common issue will be the person will put the connector in about there. It feels like it stops at that point, but that's not the case. Notice this ridge here that needs to go pretty far into the connector all the way in like that I'm going to show you that again this is really important and this is the part that it seems simple but a lot of people seem to be having trouble with it not to there and not a little bit more but all the way in and once it's all the way in you can snap this down and lock it in place so do that for both connectors and you're going to be in good shape the next thing to check for is to make sure that you can blow through the line associated with the blue connector fairly easily and I know that this is counterintuitive but the larger line with the green connector should be more difficult to blow through so with this connector off blow through this hose and it should be significantly more difficult to blow through than the smaller hose now if it's not more difficult to blow through the bigger hose than either of the two smaller hoses again it should be more difficult to blow through the big hose but if it's not the problem is almost certainly that the T that connects these three hoses is installed backwards. If that happens, uh, or if that's the case, just remove the hoses, flip the T around, put the hoses back on, reinstall the clamp on the side of the big hose, and that should take care of it. Now if you have a stock intake or a V1, the connectors connect directly to the air box here. And uh, these are removed because I want to show you inside of the lip you should see two green tabs. You see there by the gray portion that, that helps seal it. Those two green tabs should be on the inside and if they're not this thing will never work. So just like with the V4 type intake with the stock box these shove straight on and they go pretty far then you push this clip down to lock them in. Now if all that's done and you're still getting an EVAP code. So in other words, if these are connected properly to a stock airbox or they're connected properly to another intake and you're still getting an EVAP code, it's very possible that the larger line here, which goes to the intercooler, is uh, suffered some sort of damage and is leaking. Uh, we know of some cases where when people would install bigger anti-sway bars on the front, they would knock the factory plastic connector on the stock intercooler piping and crack it and cause a leak and that would cause that will cause this code um, if you're using upgraded piping that's usually not going to be the issue but if this pipe is not solidly connected and leak free all the way that'll cause a code if the pipe is just fine and you're still getting a code well I'm gonna cover that in just a moment so if you have the stock intake the problem really has to be those connections there's very little else that can go wrong with this. There are some check valves and some other hoses that conceivably could fail and cause a problem and cause an EVAP code, but I've never seen those components fail on a Fiat. They're rock solid reliable. The problem is almost always the connections. With a stock system that's really what it has to be. With a modified intake uh, such as our V2 or V4, again the most common problem is the connectors. Usually the green connector is discombobulated and not clipping the uh, connector onto its nipple properly. In other cases it's been a damaged hose or, or something strange. Uh, of all the intakes we sell it's a very small percentage of people that get these EVAP codes and of those that do the vast majority it's, is having the code because of a connection problem. Now if the connections are all good, again, like I said before, check to make sure that the T isn't installed backwards by blowing through the hoses. If it's installed backwards, that's an easy fix. I don't actually know of a case where that's happened, but that's certainly something worth checking. If all of those things are okay, and you have an aftermarket intake, 
then what you need to do if it's one of our intakes is contact us and we can take care of it by sending a different T. That is not a very desirable solution, however. You don't want to just default to a T that reduces the chance of an EVAP code because the way those T's work is they're sort of a calibrated boost leak. The bigger the boost leak, less the chance of a code. Um, however, we want to minimize the boost leak because boost leaks cause a loss of performance. Uh, not a significant loss of performance, but I don't really want any loss of performance. So again, check those other things first, and if you still have a code with one of our intakes, contact us and we can send you a different T that will certainly uh, not, ca not cause an EVAP code and will also have a little bit less of a boost leak than stock, so it will still have that advantage. Anyhow, that's all I've got for uh, this video. I really appreciate you guys watching this. Uh, please leave questions or comments below. And uh, subscribe also if you don't mind. I, I really appreciate that. I'll have more videos coming soon. Thank you very much. Hope you're having a good day.